Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to this mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Uh, one of the stories that we've been dealing with uh, here uh, is we've been dealing with fast and furious crazy kids on our streets. And it's not just kids. It's young people that's full of drugs and alcohol and they get scared to get pulled over or they commit an infraction and they keep driving no matter what so yesterday it was pretty damn sad there was a lady walking across the street with her four-year-old and they got plowed down in the middle of the street and the four-year-old died, okay? And the mayor came out, and he was just livid. He talked about how this is bullshit. This is bullshit. Not only did you run these people down, but that you kept going as if you hit a pothole. And that's what I want to talk about. What is going on with the valve in us that have allow some of us to have no respect for humanity what is going on to me it it becomes a situation where you can see the people are void of feeling anything and i don't know if it's a distance that's been created by all these electronics and cell phones or if it's a combination of parents not raising their children letting their kids raise their damn self um not having any accountability and any um consequences for their behavior because i'm just trying to figure out what kind of mind would run somebody over and then keep going and then end up getting caught because you crashed again. So the update was that the suspect arrested in Milwaukee hit and run crash that killed a four-year-old girl and injured the mother. The suspect was arrested. Mayor Cavalier Johnson confirms a mother and a daughter were crossing the street when the car hit them. So the suspect in a hit and run crash that killed a four year old girl and seriously injured her mother was arrested on Tuesday evening in Wabotosa. The person was caught near 72nd and North Avenue after a crash. Milwaukee police said the vehicle was spotted near 83rd and Carmen. When officers tried to pull the vehicle over, the driver took off and later crashed in a parking lot at 72nd Street. So they had no intention, none whatsoever, of taking any responsibility for taking lives. It makes me think, do you got a daughter? Do you care about your kids? Other than just saying, oh, I got a kid. I got a baby. No vested interest in the child's upbringing. No financial investment in the child's upbringing. Because there's no way in hell you can be a parent and love your child. And not think that other people don't love theirs. And so you go about your life as if it's everything is all gravy. It's all good. That's messed up. And some of us out here are running on void. And something gonna have to be done. Something has gotta give. Both people were taken to area hospitals for medical clearance. 
Now, earlier in the day, uh, Cavalier confirmed that a four-year-old girl died in a hit-and-run crash. The mayor said the child and her mother were crossing the street. Just crossing the street. Her mother is 27. Members of the family identified the victims as uh, Gloria Himes and her daughter, Zakani. Zakani did not survive. I mean, no child deserves this. No family deserves this, the mayor said. They should be able to go outside and play or cross the street with their parents without having to worry about somebody hitting them and fleeing the scene. It's freaking garbage. It's bullshit. And I agree. I mean, people are void. They're empty. And uh, we can't go on like this as a nation, as a community. We we got to gotta bring the love back. And that's all I'm saying. And for those of y'all who want to say, yeah, 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 this, the white people, the white people, this was a black man that hit a black mother and her black daughter. So if you keep in score, go figure that out. I don't know how many of y'all have heard about this story, but leave your comment below. If you like what you hear, subscribe and share my channel. Ridiculous.